Hello everyone and welcome back to Silent Hill Downpour. This is episode four. Last time we finished up robbing a bank and we beat up everyone who was coming to make a withdrawal and we stole all of their goods. And now we're leaving because we're going to the radio station to go and rescue people who have been imprisoned within the radio station, but they are allowed to broadcast from the radio station music dedicated to me and other people and also broadcast their cries for help uh, so that is where we currently find ourselves in this um just bizarre sequence of events um absolutely so we've got to escape from silent hill and find a way to the radio station there's apparently a lost child and also we must free five birds in total um so this game do be hitting you with side quests in Silent Hill, which I find very interesting. Like, w w Murphy Pendleton loves to journal, and he loves to fill out his journal with, I should free these birds because I relate to them, you know? While also running away from, like, maniac MMA fighters, screaming women, shadow mannequins, uh, wall-crawling monstrosities, Barbed wire police vehicles and a quite a friendly, nice homeless man uh, living in the subway um, who will provide us with um, knowledge that we desire um, if we give him a coat. We gave him a candy bar and now if we give him a coat, everything will be right in the world. Uh, so do keep your eyes out for a coat of some descript. I was going to the radio station. Turns out I'm actually going in here. Great. Another situation where I find myself at a keypad with no numbers. So we're not doing that anytime soon. Uh, I do not need to replace my axe with an axe, so that's good. Check all of these just to make sure they can't be whacked. All right, there's a keypad here, guys. Commit that one to memory. What are the numbers? We'll never know. We will never know. Maybe if you free five missing birds, they'll one of them will be carrying a note. Uh, there are some mysterious lockers as well that have keypads. No idea what that's about. Because we ain't find we ain't finding any numbers. We are finding first aid kits in the middle of the street, though, that's good. I will say, just on a like on a on a good note here, I do love playing horror games on this channel. I love when we haven't played a horror game in a while and we come back because it's like it's cozy and I love how chaotic and silly we can be while also getting genuinely scared. Oh! Stranger danger. <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> stranger danger. You might get wailed on by a woman in the park. Stranger danger. Oh god. I miss having my weapon that would actually like cut through you without getting whacked in the process. Die! Die! Hard. Oh, what do you reckon? That was a successful date in the park. Ending with a fire axe in the in the back. Oh, it's a kite. Ready for the side quest? Return the kite to the boy? No fucking way. You found a Silent Hill artifact. Oh, this looks like the kite I built with Charlie, but that's impossible. Hang on, there are artifacts now? And just said I could check that in an extras menu. Oh, I think there was an extras menu on the main screen. I found an, a Silent Hill artifact. Okay, that's new. They've also added collectibles to the game. Who the hell is Charlie? Here we go. We've got some. We've got some Silent Hill Pendleton Murphy backstory. Uh, that's like one of those hook pokery thingamadoos that we can pull ladders down with. Are there any ladders nearby? Oh, okay, before I got, you know, interrupted in my stranger danger warning by a stranger, I was gonna say, like, I just, I like that... Can you... Oh, fellas, fellas, what are you boys doing in the park this, this time of night? I'm trying to talk about... I'm trying to just not talk about the stranger danger aspect of this fucking situation. I'm trying to fucking talk about... Uh, how fun it is to play uh, horror games on the channel 
again after a decent amount of time away from them because I they they're like they're comfortable in a weird way, and it's a it's a lot of fun actually. Uh, we do get spooked, but it just it provides a just a level of comfort and um, entertainment. Oh, there we go. A level of comfort and entertainment that we. Uh, you know, we desire. What's going on here? These are my parole papers. <gasps> Ooh. Who's doing this? Who's doing this? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Interesting. Hey, Murphy! I got your paperwork here. Take a look. Hey, Murphy, remember, this is a limited time offer, my friend. I'll let you know. Yeah, what was the... What's up, Officer what? Holridge? What was that about? Mm, uh, nothing. Hey. Nothing. Bullshitter, bullshitter. Sewell's bad news, Murph. He doesn't do anyone favors. What are you in for with him? It's nothing. It's... Don't worry about it. For your sake? I hope so. I don't want to get your hopes up, kid, but the parole board's looking pretty closely at your case. Don't screw this up now. Not after all I've done to get you out of here. Don't worry, Officer Coleridge. I, I got it all under control. Just some unfinished business to take care of. This guy has a soft spot on us for some reason. What the hell are you doing in here anyway, Murphy? You're you're not like these guys. I told you, sir. It, car theft, resisting and evading, and nah. <laughs> You stole a police cruiser and let him on a 10-hour chase down the eastern seaboard. Yeah, it what was his story. No priors and a clean sight do something that stupid. I think you at least owe me the truth. Maybe I just needed to escape from the world for a while. Yeah, well, you just steer clear of Sewell and do your homework, right? You got it, Chief. Cool, so I was I was right. So all of the scatterings and images that we're seeing are specifically tied to him and what he's done, which I think is cool. We're piecing this together as we go through the story, I guess, as the player. So we've read his uh, newspaper article about his little, or not his newspaper article, his police thingy. Um, and then we've also seen an evidence photo as well. Yeah, this evidence photo in the police department report. Cool, so that's his whole deal. Oh, oh, why did this not, this did not even, oh my God, I'm so stupid. Why didn't this even like, this didn't even resonate with me until right now because I knew that Murphy's last name was Pendleton. Why did, I didn't even acknowledge this until I looked at this and went, wait a minute, this guy just said Charlie's name and then it clicked. God, why didn't I? That's that's silly. Just totally like glossed over the fact that the missing child poster is what I assume to be a younger brother. I mean, looks younger than me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes. Charlie Pendleton went missing. Okay. Interesting. We don't know the report of um. We don't know the year that our report took place in. And there was something else as well. Um, I guess we can't read the missing child poster, but we got some information on that as well. Missing child suffering from autism and hates the color blue. And we got an idea of like, went missing, I was eight years old. Um, it went missing in 2004. And if, yeah, if, I don't know, it's, it's a lot to piece together. Here we go, very delayed reaction to Charlie Pendleton there. So let's have a look. Pendleton Murphy. 
This letter is to inform you that parole has been approved for prisoner Murphy Pendleton, effective June 26th. Mr. Pendleton has met all qualifications for early release and by all accounts is a model prisoner. We feel he is prepared to make the successful transition from a prisoner to citizen. Further, due to non-violent nature of his conviction, it is our opinion he poses no physical threat danger to the general public. Please feel free to contact our office should you have any questions or concerns. Judith Zaragoza. So it seems pretty clear to me that this uh, this female police... God, why did I have to make this so complicated? Just say the, the police officer that has it out for us. This female police woman lady, uh, this uh, police officer who has like a really bad feeling about us, must be directly related to what we did and is really carrying uh, a grudge against us uh, which seems pretty clear, despite our pretty clean record since. Um, I've also received some clarification now that the badge, because it's like covered over, it's supposed to represent like, oh crap, it's supposed to represent someone that's like, you know, uh, no longer no longer with us. They've passed from this world. Um, so that's why she resonated with that one, which makes sense. Um, so there you go. We're in the Centennial Building. I didn't think that this was how we were going to get to the Centennial Building at all. I was just, just running around being chased and funneled here by goddamn scary dudes in the park. Now I'm here, having prison flashbacks. Um, I don't know what the deal was with that goddamn guy that we were just gutting in the shower at the very beginning of the game, too. Because <laughs> it has no violent tendencies, but dreams about stabbing men in the shower. Okay, I need an ID card. The Centennial Building, god damn. Okay, oh, the radio station naturally, all the way at the very top. If I can just get to that freight elevator. Yeah, I like that we've got that classic sort of case of uh, Silent Hill with, um, you know, stuff from our past or like filling, it's like filling us in as we go along this journey. So we're going to figure out, what, oh my god, so we're actually going to figure out what the hell's going on with, with Murph. Whether or not he's... Uh, actually, you know, oh my god, you know, he's actually in prison for that reason at all, or whether there's a, n a whole other mess to it. What, what happened to our brother, really, you know, and what if, what's happened to really rile up this particular, uh, police officer? This was, this was literally just a trap to, to open so I could get goddamn wrestled with. God, it's so easy to get absolutely derailed in a game like this. You're trying to have a you're trying to have an intellectual conversation about what's going on, and then you're just getting harassed by monsters. It's like, come on, guys, read the room. No, no wonder I am struggling to recognize names and piece together the story when I'm on edge being chased by barbed wire police cars, you know? Oh, I got a forensic flashlight. Oh, that's cool as hell. I got a UV flashlight. Oh, that's sick. Now we get to go into all the weird little rooms in Silent Hill and be like, hmm, look at all these cum stains. Why is there a dog in there? At least the door's open. He's He's got air. And he's playing his favorite radio station, the police radio, to amp him up to goddamn rip some criminal's testicles off. He changes windows. Oh, he doesn't change windows very, uh, very smoothly. He kind of snaps to it. I'm going to sneak up on him. Look, ready? Ha ha! I snuck up on you behind you, you bastard. Ha ha! <laughs> you thought I was over there. There we go. We tricked the dog, guys. Jesus. 
Get the fire hose and hose down the dog. He needs some milk. <laughs> he just picks it up and then he just throws it down. Uh, what the fuck is this? I don't know what this is. Okay. That's good. Oh, jump scare. Okay. I think we just found this game's version of Pyramid Head. Big man with a hammer. Take that away, what are you? Interesting. Conveniently placed peephole in a brick wall with a gate around it. Silent Hill aesthetic. Gotcha. All right. Um... This is really neat, though, that we have a UV flashlight. But yeah, it is going to be problematic when we enter some particular spaces that uh, people have probably gotten a little bit frisky in. It's not going to be good. Um, Alright, so yeah, I need an ID card for that. I really didn't expect this to be our way into the Centennial Building. I was like, we're taking a stroll through the park and then we'll get in somewhere else. But I guess it's worked out for the best, right? Because this is where I said that we would go. Just checking some spots with said UV light now just to see if anything comes up. I'm also getting weird whispers. We'll figure out something to do with the goddamn fire truck eventually. Oh, actually, can I interact with this first, maybe? Ah. Ah. There you go. Oh. Oh. It's out of, out of gas. We need a filler on it. Alright. Uh, we'll go down here then. Oh. Yep, can I... Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, this is, uh... Hmm. We got swimming in this game? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> God. I, li I like that he goes shoulder deep before going <laughs> too deep. Alright, how do we drain... How do we drain the water? Oh! Oh, cool. There's, a good, there's some UV shit going on there. Footsteps. Ah, we use this to suck the water. Suck it. There you go. That's what that does. Fill up the old fire Jesus engines. Works. Yo, clever. That's convenient placement, isn't it? Yeah, let's flush this subway. Cool. Okay. Ah, we got the security card. Um, oh, that'll be in our inventory, won't it? Nice. Security card, the magnetic strip looks worn out. And the, the things... Hang on, is it filling up? Oh! It's filling up! Ah! Why is it filling up all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm trying to investigate the wheelchair scenario. Okay, Jesus. I'm drowning all of a sudden. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> get your... Ah, get your fucking asses away from me! Okay, there's another UV light over there. Quick, 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 quick. Get me back in here. Get me back in here. Get me in here. Get the fuck away from me. Close the door. Close the door, you bastard. Close the fucking door. Oh my God. I'm safe in here. Holy shit! <laughs> Ooh, what's the, the wheelchair on the on on the TV here? Oh well, I guess you could see 
Well, we would, I guess we just watched it happen. The wheelchair. Oh, but this is a live feed. Interesting. That was the dude in the wheelchair that went, uh, that we were just looking at, I think. Creepy. Creepy, spooky. DJ Ricks! Year after year after year. He knows a way out of town. That's the escape that I need. Play me that funky music. I like the guys. Classic Silent Hill angle in this room. How cool is that? Yeah. Remember Silent Hill camera angles? Remember? God, this episode has just been absolutely chaotic. Uh, are there still bitches around? Fucking yep. This episode has been absolutely chaotic, everybody. I'm so, so sorry, but I'm not sorry at the same time. Look at, what's he doing? What's that doing? <laughs> He's stuck up there. Get down from there. Oh shit. Oh god, I gotta, I gotta wait. No, I don't have to wait. We're good. Okay. <sighs> Just another day in paradise. Are we going up or down? I think we're going up. Welcome to the Silent Hill Archive and Library. Great. The archive and library. Good. Really good. Actually, I'm gonna pick up a new axe because I don't know how goddamn weak my current axe is. It might break. Weapons that have durability can lick my nuts because I hate it. Just let me swing that axe to my heart's content forever. <laughs> don't laugh at me, you fuck. Patronize me, you bastard. My favorite book there, March March. I love March March. Hey. <laughs> we got another rocking chair, just having a session over here. Oh. Oh, you fuck. Okay. Fuck you. Come on, wail on me. Let's go. With your infinite blows. Oh my, I never know how many hits they're gonna do. Fuck you. Fuck it. That's right, you bastard. I like that this game has simplified matters in terms of the healing properties. So like, look, mate, first aid kits, that's fine. That's all you need. You don't need energy drinks. You don't need your goddamn weird ampules. Just first aid kits. Your health drinks, you don't need them. They're a scam anyway. Library and random additional crossed out room in the bottom there. The Centennial Building. Whoa. See that, guys? That signature there, Bill? That's why they call him Silent Bill. Are there fuckers in here? Um, I hear them, and they're heavy breathing. Shepherd's Glen! Guys, that's a Silent Hill Homecoming reference. See, I know my Silent Hill lore. Good old Shepherd's Glen. Homecoming best game, am I right? Ah! Jesus. Thanks, game. Oh, look. Book. With cum stains on it. 
classical civilizations. Yep. All right. Rome, ceremony known as taking the auspices. Central to this practice was the auger, a priest who would examine the movement and behavior of birds, then extrapolate from it the will of the gods. For a time, war, politics, and commerce were driven by these specialized priests. That's, this is why I need to uh, free those, um, those birds, obviously. Rome. Another type of specialized priest of divination in ancient Rome was the Horuspex. Unlike the Augur, who believed they could tell the future through the observation of elements of the living natural world, Horuspexes made their predictions by sacrificing animals, especially birds and sheep. Imagine these two priests were like, they like live next to each other, but they're like, hey, Augur, what you doing today? It's like, I am observing the movement of the bird, and it, I will see what it will happen in our future. And this guy's like, ah, good. I just killed six birds last week. He's like, you're driving me out of business, Haruspus. I need those birds to see the future. He's like, I need those birds to see the future too. And then they kissed and made up. And they both saw the future together through the bird by keeping it alive and then killing it after. These animals were typically purified with blessed waters prior to slaughter. Then the livers and entrails were carefully removed and examined for signs of future events. It was such a haruspex, Titus Vestricius Spur Spurina, that's a name, that warned Julius Caesar about the danger on whatever the hell that is. Because it cuts off. All right, keep your eyes peeled for uh, UV books. So you can read about auspices and augurs and such and the like and Rome civilization. We're here to learn. This is a library after all. Oh fuck. We got another one of those mannequin things. Let's fucking kill it before a shadow appears. Fuck you mannequin. <coughs> Alright, we're good. Full salon. It is the exact same. It is specific taste and entertainment oh 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 it's reading about silent hill interesting okay i've been swindled i thought it was going to be the whole shadow mannequin thing silence please i climb up there probably Ooh. 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 Ah! I should have known. I should have, should have known. Yes, sir. Monster, please. Can you just wait? I'm going to read now. <laughs> Monster, please. You must wait, for I am going to read. Prisoner Patrick Napier. Deceased. Concerning the recent unsolved murder of the subject named Prisoner in our facilities, a full and complete review of all isolation and segregation procedures will be undertaken by you and your staff with findings. Turn into my office no later than close of business. 21st November. Included in your report will be full investigation results regarding Napier's murder, including those responsible for overseeing the victim's activities during the time of the incident, specifically how another prisoner was allowed access to the segregation area. Please note your guard staff is not exempted from suspicion and should be treated thusly. This investigation should be considered your highest priority. I am determined that we will restore Ryle's reputation as a top-notch prison facility. Consider this your first and last warning. So, are they talking about... How did they get this? Oh, are they talking about fucking goddamn, I just got swept up. Oh, oh, oh. No chance for recovery. Um... Are they talking about the dude that I was stabbing in the shower then? Maybe that, I guess that really happened. Oh. And then I was just, what, dreaming about the, um, dreaming about the events after they'd already happened. That's what that guy wanted us to do for him. Go and stab this dude in segregation for me. Turn the cameras off. We were literally about to do parole and everything, but no, we had to go and stab a guy in the showers.
This is unhinged. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna miss visual cues if something scurried across the screen there because I am looking ooh, for UV books. Sounded like something scurried across the floor while laughing at me. There's another one, there you go. Ah yes. The bee is an interesting insect, and one that has quite a bit in common with us humans. Bees build and live in societies, hold down jobs, and communicate in a symbolic language. These commonalities extend even further. Bees build prisons. These tiny penitentiaries are offset from the rest of the hive. They're used to primarily to detain hive beetles, pests that threaten the safety of the bee's home. Before long, the sentence is delivered and the death penalty rendered via lethal injection. It seems in hive law, beetles are guilty unless proven innocent. <laughs> okay. Prison metaphors. Solitary honeybees are typically docile, 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 and rarely attack unless provoked to the extreme. When the bee does choose to attack, the single act of retribution is almost always fatal for the bee itself. The barbed stinger of the honeybee pulls the lancet deep into the skin of the victim, injecting one milligram of apitoxin. When the bee attempts to flee the scene of the crime, it finds that a large part of its abdomen, guts, nerve, and muscle tissue are torn from its body and left behind, eviscerated, the bee dies shortly after, paying the ultimate price for revenge. What do they mean by that, guys? On a lot of documents that we're reading, we're seeing this symbol and then like these, like, I don't know if they're numbers, but we're seeing like stuff in the bottom right corner. And I think... Yes, they are also on these as well. And I don't know what is in it is in reference to, if anything, but I do wish to at least acknowledge it. Strange. Oh, I... What did I tell you about slamming doors? Hmm, I think there's a guy in here. Um, okay. We have to open that, and it looks like it's going to be another puzzle scenario. So get ready for another hard puzzle. I'm going to have to figure out the lock to this safe. Oh. Why can't I run in this camera angle? God damn it. Oh, when you lose someone you love. I can actually investigate it for the first time. Unless that's the first time I've just like pressed A on it. It's actually, it actually has a title. It's not just a random painting. When you lose someone you love and it's everywhere. Fucking keypad doors. Bane of my existence. So we got a locked bank thing and keypad doors. We've got an elevator. An elevator that you cannot interact with, and you can. Elevator that you can interact with, but is broken. What is this? The Resident Evil Mansion? Every time I see a typewriter in a Silent Hill game, I just go, ha! <laughs> Video archive. Oh! More footsteps. Oh, oh you fucking! Stop dropping shit on the ground and laughing at me, you fuck. Alright, we got a mayor. Fucking god. Ah. Uh, uh, oh! Oh, 200. There you go. Look, 200. Cool. What did, what did it mean by that? No idea. Oh, we can put something in here. Let's go, let's go find a... My favorite part of this is they've got like film reels, like old school, like 35 millimeter film reels, and then they've got a digital projector. Making the sound effects of an old school like film projector. 
That's like the stupidest thing I've seen. And I just think that's fucking hilarious. Like surely, surely they realized that, right? <laughs> like it's a digital projector propped up with a book making the sound effects of a 35 mil old school timey-wimey film stock one. And they've, okay. Okay, sure. Someone showed up to work one day and it's like, guys, look, I brought the projector. And they'd be like, you fucking idiot. Do you not realize what a, what projector we need? And he's like, oh, shit. You're listening to the DJ Rick Show on WLMNFM, where the tracks are tight and the sweet melodies flow on and on. It's always a perfect day with DJ Rick, your on-air friend to the end. Your on-air friend till the end. Actually, can I investigate this one? Can I press A on it? I got you so good. If this game makes me pick up like a film reel as an item and puts it in this projector, I'm gonna laugh. Conduct disorder is also related to psych uh, psychopathy and sociopathy, marked by a near total lack of empathy for others, live for other living things, and a warped morality defined by their own needs and desires. Nice, Mr. Neighbor. Illustrated by Thomas Stepanitz. Nice guy production. Okay. Tell me, leave me. I don't know if there's any of these things I could be interested in. Aha! Okay. I guess we need something else elsewhere to bring in here with the projector. So, we, all we know at the moment is 200. I don't know what that means, because this looks like it's like a... This is a Roman numeral timey situation. And it goes up to 10 on each one. So we'll have to be back to figure this one out. Back in here. Maybe we'll find something to take back to the projector. While Murphy continues to be the whimsical being that he is. Alright, the elevator doesn't work. Let's go down here. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, so they really they got multiple of these bad boys. I don't trust either of you. Yeah. Oh, fucking. <gasps> oh shit. The UV, the UV light. Oh shit. Cool. Okay, the UV light reveals them, and if you actually beat them up, it does damage to the mannequins. Oh, they move. Do you see that? Oh, that's that's really cool. Okay. So, new new law with the mannequins is they fucking move. I just watched it happen. And we can actually defeat the shadows. It does damage to these, but defeating the mannequin, just going straight for the source is like probably the fastest course of action. The UV light being able to detect them is really cool. Oh, we got more, uh, There might be something here because the wheelchair tracks end here. Um, 
at least we don't have like a situation where that we are having some like copy paste Silent Hill monsters from previous games. Like they're all unique. So let's just uh, let's tie them to Murphy's personality. He hates women screaming at him. He hates MMA fighters. Um, he hates big monsters that crawl on the ceiling. He hates uh, s like sex doll mannequins. Hates those. Um, and the shadows that spawn from them, because that's definitely a thing that happens with mannequins, you know. He's got some adequate fears, I guess. Hello? But how does it tie to his, his backstory? Ominous whispers. Nice. No idea where I'm going at the moment. We're just kind of rolling around. Maybe I should look at a map. Imagine that. Be a good idea, huh? Too many footsteps, too many noises that are not my own. Too many fucking slam doors. Who's using this toilet? Flush. You ain't ever heard of flushing the toilet when you finish, fellas. Why is the water up so hot? Like I said, you Trust need to. Yourself, you know oh. more than you think you do. <gasps> oh! We have the reveal. So that that voice that we keep hearing is uh, Officer Co Coolridge, Officer Coolridge. And uh, flushing the toilet reminded us of his wise words. Right? I remember when I taught you to flush a toilet, boy. I remember these wise words. So Coolridge is like our mentor, mentor guy in prison. He's the one who tells us he's been saying all these things. Got it. And you just have to flush a toilet sometimes to to trigger those um to trigger those memories, you know. <sighs> ah, yes. Yep. He really stopped maintaining this part of the building. They were like, let nature take over, that's fine. We get a consistent footprint trail over here. You just be running wherever you feel like it at this point. <laughs> Guys, remember Silent Hill 1? I remember Silent Hill Run. Remember when uh, Harry Mason was like, I just want to find my daughter, and now I'm shooting God in the face with a shotgun. That's the Silent Hill 1 experience right there. Oh God, hello sir. Sir! Can you help me please? I'm lost in this goddamn library. Oh, got another ID card, that's lucky. I know how to fire a gun. Trust me, I'm a firearms expert. Oh, sequestered? Does not equal safe. There you go. Wise words. Okay. See this man? He was sequestered. He paid the price. How much are we rocking with in the in the pistol department? We got we got a decent amount. The problem with yeah. the pistol, however, <laughs> yeah, jump, okay. pick it up. Pick up the gun, Murphy. Can you reload this thing? <laughs> How do you reload this thing? Murphy! Reload the weapon! I have to pr I'm pressing every single button except for the shoot one. 
Uh, sound effects so loud. Wow, I have to, okay, I have to press reload that way. It's, but the problem that I have is you ditch your melee weapon when you equip the gun. Oh, there's an ID card. There's an ID card thingy. Where are we? Give me my map, please. Where are we at? Okay, okay. I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Hey, look! They liked those goddamn mannequins so much, they made a fucking painting of them. Dangerous Beauty. Okay. They're called Dangerous Beauties. Screamers. Dangerous Beauties. I wonder what the, the MMA fighters are called. <laughs> Weirdest creaking noise ever. Okay, that's the elevator. That's back out to that room. All right, let's go to the ID card room. What is with the lack of sprinting available in these fixed camera rooms? No running in the fixed camera rooms. Open up a director's identification card. Get in there. Another radio. I really love those radios. Hey, DJ Ricks here with another dedication on WLM in FM. This one rolls out from my girl Sally. Her little bro was stuck in Brookhaven getting his tonsils out. Well, little man, we all know nothing drags like a stint in the hospital. So on behalf of your sweet Wait. sister. There's something written here. Is this supposed to make something? I, I can't connect any of these numbers. What the fuck? Oh, I can rotate it. I can rotate it. <laughs> that makes a bit more sense. Alright, hold on. Oh, God. Remember, we're on hard mode for the puzzles, dude. I think, I think this has got to be it, right? It looks like the, these are the the, the numbers you, you can't get them to line up like exactly I can't I can't figure out what this is though if it's 85 slash like if that's a slash or whether that's a full number or whether it's uh, 85 11 36 and it's definitely uh, it's definitely not the, uh, it's definitely not the, the safe, uh, code with those three digits because, uh, if I wanted it to be that, um, if I wanted it to be that safe code, they only go up to a maximum of 10. I think that's right. 85, 11, 3, 6. Um, now the question is, what do those numbers mean, Mason? We almost had the perfect Silent Hill joke, except they decided to put the character with the last name of Mason in a different Silent Hill game, so the Black Ops joke doesn't work. My guy's name is Murphy. Um, okay, let's see. There's still a there's still a question mark in that room. Um, 
Oh, there well, can you, don't do that. There was a room or a door, I should say, that had a keypad. So the code might be for that. But I also forgot where that is. I think it was upstairs. Um. Oh shit, hang on. Room 200 is the mayor's office. So we gotta go to room 200 as well, which is that thingy. Okay, upstairs. Let's go to room 200. Because we saw the video projector say that. And, ah, oh, that's how we get through there, because this is the keypad. Okay, I think we've, I think we've pieced it together. Yeah, nice. Good. More numbers and more thingies. All right, we're getting into the religious Silent Hill stuff, secret history of the colonies. Settlers came to the Americas seeking religious freedom, a promise which certainly appealed to Gnostic practitioners of varying faiths, ranging from pagan to Judeo-Christian and even ancient Babylonian traditions. After hearing tales of the place of silent spirits, many made pilgrimages to what is now called Toluca Lake. One such pilgrim was Professor Horace Holloway, who wrote in his diary, Stepping foot on that ground, even a fool could sense its sacred nature. Surely this place is the one for which we have sought. These groups studied and gradually integrated the religious practice practices of the native tribes, often interpreting deities and rites in terms of their personal traditions. In this way, figures such as Metatron, Samael, and Moloch were brought to the New World, as well as varying divination practices. Or Nithomancy, Scrying, Gyromancy, et al. See, don't you guys remember when uh, the devil Samael and Metatron from Transformers were all in the same group together? I know it's Megatron. Just let me have my joke. Let me have this. While it may at first seem peculiar that pious and God-fearing colonists would so readily adopt heathen or pagan rites into their burgeoning society, the incorporation of pagan traditions into Judeo-Christian Judeo orthodoxy is nothing new. During Christianity's spread across Europe, several pagan traditions were repurposed and absorbed by the church when recent converts were not so willing to abandon long-practiced rites and festivals based on seasonal and lunar cycles. Sadly, these same colonists that happily celebrated the Norse pagan holiday of Yule in the guise of Christmas, or the Celtic Samhain, or Hallows Eve, were the same colonists that were quick to root out witchcraft and devil worship within their community as evidenced by the brutal witch trials that... And then it's cut off. Creepy symbols. Oh. Only getting these uh, small little excerpts of, uh, of history here. Can you just gently close doors to avoid the slam? Oh, fuck. Nope. I can't gently close doors because I'm going to get yelled at for it. She's like, shush, it's a fucking library. Be the, be quiet. Oh, my, I'm on my axe. The, the, the right hook to the face. Oh, my God. Give her the chair. Give her the chair. Get fucking chairs. Can you stop swinging? When do they stop swinging? I swear that they've got just an infinite combo. Oh my god, not on my back, please. I have back issues. Thank you for letting me heal myself. I have, I specifically have it out for you. Fucking bastard. God damn it. That's the worst one. That's the worst one I've ever gone up against. They just didn't stop attacking. I hate them. I'm about to go Anakin Skywalker on these screamers, let me tell you. Hello? Who's behind me? I think I could climb this to the upper level. Oh, oh, okay. Fucking go off then. 
Rhett Cairn. CD. CD. Licensed clinical psychologist. Helping individuals and couples cope with the loss of a child. Like my missing brother that I used to make a kite for back in the day. Alright, so we can go up there. Murph, this will hold me. Only one way to find out, Murph. So somehow I've got to get back down to get into room 200, I think, while also getting eventually something to put into a projector. And then also eventually figuring out how to get into the vault. And also not trying to have my head explode from getting screamed at constantly. Oh, you know what? I gotta tell you, not a fan of the balancing segments. Oh no, the mannequins, look, they move. That was the one that was in that goddamn chair. I knew it was alive. They only choose when they want to wake the hell up. I gotta, I gotta tell you, not a fan of the, of the the walking balancing shit. I'm not a circus performer. Oh, oh. Why are you moaning in pleasure about it? Why do you like it? Ah! Fuck you! Damn, hands are really weak, dude. Oh, damn. Fuck you. I really thought my fists were stronger than that. Turns out they're really not, dude. Huh. It is useless to throw hands with demons, for they will kill you. Lesson learned. I'm very attached to the to the melee, clearly. I think we're, we're in a safe spot where I can really fuck him up with the gun if I wanted to. No gun challenge? Obviously I'm just making things harder for myself guys, for fun. Right, there's a ladder down there, and where is this? This is 306, okay. Hello? Oh. Wait, you're not supposed to be alive? I, 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 fuck. They've broken free from their shadow master. Fuck you. What? What is with this? What is with this camera? What the fuck is going on with this game? That stupid camera. Thank you. God damn. Wait, you're, you're still alive. This is in. Oh, there's another one. What the hell is. How many of them are you? All right, elevator. There's no wonder the elevator hasn't been coming up this whole time. 
Oh damn. <sighs> Fucking wheelchairs. Let me tell ya. Wheelchairs. Wheelchairs. Preventing my access to the elevator. Ironic. Ironic. Alright, where are we at? Alright, well now that elevator should just, uh... Work. If I need to use it. So there you go. Let's go down that ladder now. So we can get to room 200. Any day now. Thank you. Oh, go on, Murph. Do a little slide. Have some fun with your life. Do a little zoomy and go, wee. We need to inject some positivity into this dreary place. All right, there's the mayor's office. Out of all the places you'd think would be locked, not the mayor's office. Nice. Psychological report. Probationary hearing prelim. Here, a male? A male, 43 years old. He is serving a something year sentence for multiple felony accounts, including third degree murder and sexual assault of a child below the age of 14. He appears to be in satisfactory physical health. The prisoner is currently being considered for probation. After multiple sessions with, their, with the prisoner, I've concluded he does not suffer from any psychotic or physical disorders. Rather, he has shown continually to have an inordinate interest in young children and manifest significant predatory traits. As a result, I feel he poses an imminent danger to the community. He should be released, should he be released from custody and is therefore a poor candidate for probation. Um, this has got to be in reference to that dude that we probably killed them maybe it's got to they've got to be referencing these people that we are familiar with that dude that we stabbed and killed in the prison what do you reckon reckon that man was uh had some uh problematic interests oh it's the the rorschach what do you see Negative space is an invaluable drawing technique that allows the brain to disconnect from the common shapes and patterns it's been trained to see, instead focusing on the space around a subject. By focusing on recreating this negative space rather than the subject, the artist is able to create a much more accurate image. This phenomenon proves that the objects, people, and things we take for granted don't actually exist as we see them. In fact, they are merely shadows flickering through the empty canvas of the human subconscious. I really like that as some sort of metaphor for, for Silent Hill. Another example of negative space is found in the famous uh, Rubin vase, an optical illusion created by Danish psychologist Edgar Rubin. This simple black and white diagram of a white vase on a black field can be viewed as a vase or as two human faces meeting nose to nose. Considered the best il illustrative example of figure ground organization, the diagram challenges the viewer's perception, transforming the image from the vase inanimate to the faces, animate, and back again before the viewer's eyes. As in the world around us, sometimes the most interesting things are hiding in the shadows. That's right, guys. What do you see? Because it ain't look like shit to me. Nice. Alright, what's in here? Oh, we got the slides. Nice. Okay, so we got slides. Can be viewed in a slide projector. So there you go, guys. It, we didn't pick up a 35 millimeter film reel after all. That's good. That's good news. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I think I would love it so much if it, they actually did do it and just say fuck it. So it is. A, it's a slide projector. Cool. Straight up looks like it's a, uh, just like a digital one. Just plugged into nothing. It's making noises like it's, uh, you know, a film stock turning. But it ain't. Oh, you know. The brain. Now associated with PTSD. 
Symptoms include anxiety, depression, loss of emotional drive, nightmares, inability to sleep, and social withdrawal. Such symptoms have been noted to follow natural disasters, combat, and even large-scale job layoffs. Though there is no single treatment for the condition, chemical options have proven helpful, and therapy can slow the condition or even prevent it if begun soon after the catalyst event. Conduct disorder is a common category of psychological disorder categorized by a compulsive impulse to violate the rights of others, cause destruction and mayhem to property, inflict physical harm or threats against others, and a general rebellion against social norms and established authority figures. In the most extreme forms, conduct disorder can include physical or verbal aggression and intimidation towards people and animals. They really be tucking a lot of these books away on the shelves. All right, to the elevator. Uh, then we put the slides in the slide projector and then the only other loose end from there is the vault thing. So I'm gonna assume that these must be connected. Where am I supposed to find a security card? Okay, this, this guy, like I tell you, this protagonist is the most relatable Silent Hill one we ever have. And I, I love him for that because this man be walking through here going, oh God, where am I gonna find a security card? Like, <laughs> I like that he just has appropriate responses. He's like, oh, what the hell? Because someone picked apart all the stupid buttons. I wonder if these numbers are relevant to us. Or is it, oh, it's only because, oh. We use this elevator to go up to the 18th floor. Cool, all right but you need the security card to do so. Right, all right. I feel like probably it's a safe bet that the ID card's gonna be in this vault then. So let's go to the video archive. Let's go to the video archive. Put these slides in. I think, I feel like we can pretty confidently uh, put together the, the sequence of events. Slide projector, clues for the vault. ID card in the vault. Radio tower profit. All right. Okay, slides get entered from the front. Get in. Yep, there you go. Uh, so, oh, okay, it's just playing in. Okay, I'm going to assume that this is the first one. I'm going to write this down. I don't know how I can write this down. Uh, I think that was one and three. Let's just let that go again. Yep, yeah, one and three. And then one and nine. And then two and six. Okay. Just gotta write that one down. Done. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait. Hang on. That was showing like hours, but this is different because. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's only... Okay, well now I'm confused. Oh, yeah, hang on, wait a minute. Oh, hang on, I've got it, I've got it. It's the, it must be the addition. So one and three means four, one and nine is 10, and then two and six is eight. Yeah? No? Fuck. Okay, hang on. Uh, shit. Wait a minute. Yeah, because they're giving us 12 hours, obviously. Oh, it must only be the one that the small hand is pointing to then. Is it the one that just the small hand is pointing to? Because they're small ones, so... One... Two... Three? Is it? It's not. You. It's not going to be one, two, three. You'd be shitting me. 
If it's just the one that the hour hand is pointing to, it's not going to be one, two, three, is it? Good. So, shit bricks. Maybe, here's another thing. I can't, I actually don't know which one's the first slide. Like, I don't know which one's the first one. Because I've, I've, that's another problem. Does it make a specific noise when it restarts? Which one was the first one? Okay, maybe instead of the hour hand, we do the minute hand, and the minute hand one is... Oh, hang on a minute. I've messed up. Oh boy, um, is there is there any secrets here with the UV light? Oh shit! Hmm. All right. All I've got is what the fuck. Because I might have gotten it wrong, like it might be in the wrong order on the slides, because I don't know which one is the first one. Like the first slide. Maybe... Maybe because there's one, two, three... And then with the one that it's on the hour hand of, you just... Okay, hang on, let's try something else. So the one that's on the hour hand of one, it's also pointing to nine. And then the one that's on two is pointing to six. And then the one that's on three is also pointing to two. I mean, pointing to one. Okay. I, I feel very lost in the dark here. I don't think that I'm doing this right at all. What if number one is nine, but two is six, three is one. Yes, I got it. Cool. Okay. So what I did there was the the projectors have the hour hands on one hour two hour three hour which is what we did before and i was like no way it's one two three but then i went wait a minute these things are one two and three in the middle so then i went back and i went okay well those ones that are on the hour hand of one two three take the minute hand and put that on their minute one which was nine six and one there we go i got it right okay i was lost but i did it Good. Look at me. I be solving this shit. Just call me Murphy Puzzleton. Hello? Someone was screaming in here earlier. I've probably taken too long and you've run out of air. Okay, or that. Who did this to you? Oh, ID card, there it is. And and then um <laughs> this is a certified James Sunderland moment. He's like, oh my god. Who could have so what's it gonna be, Murphy? You and me gonna play ball? Or is all your hard work for nothing? What? I mean, the way I see it, 
sort of a win-win situation, right? Guys like Napier, they've got no business breathing the same air as you and me, right? There, there it is. I like that I, um, I have a handle on the documents that we're reading. It feels very rewarding. So Napier is that dude that we decided to gut in the shower. Can't say he didn't deserve it. Man's a sexual predator. He out of here. Let's go. One less demon in the world. Now, the courts and the bleeding hearts out there insist we sequester guys like him away from the general population. Sequester is not safety. Can you believe that shit? For their safety. Let me ask you this. What about Charlie's safety, huh? Oh, wow. He so used Charlie. I'll give you access to Napier. Make sure you get some quality time with that worthless sack of shit. Oh, man. I'll see to it no one finds him until I've had a chance to scrub the place down. Keep you in the clear. But in exchange, you're going to owe me a favor. Think you can do that for me, sport? Uh, personal revenge against Napier. Yeah. Okay. I know you're a man of your word, Murphy. You be a straight shooter with me, I'll be a straight shooter with you. Oh. Okay, so Napier... So Charlie Pendleton goes missing. Our brother. Maybe even our son. I don't even know how old we are. Um, seems like a brother thing. I don't know, actually. Regardless, relative. Uh, Napier, this child goes missing. Napier exists. That can be probably inferred. We have a we have a personal revenge vendetta. This guy gives us the chance to gut him like a fish. And then we owe this guy a favor as a result. Which is why at the beginning we're all like, remember me, asshole. Remember, Cupcake, you owe me one. I'm seeing it now. All right. All right, I'm seeing that. Transition. Oh, we can read this book. Annual Employee Review. George Sewell. So that's our corrections officer with 20 years of service. Areas of concern. There have been numerous reports from prisoners and fellow corrections officers that Officer Sewell maintains suspicious contact and or relationships with certain prisoners under his care. There have also been allegations of abuse of power by Officer Sewell. Allegations of abuse and power, there you go, including physical threats. Officer Sewell adamantly denies these claims. Uh, conclusion, until further investigation is conducted into the various charges against Officer Sewell, promotion and or merit wage increase cannot be approved at this time. Positive contributions to the team. He has perfect work attendance throughout the entire review period and consistently reports to his duties in a punctual fashion. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. And so yeah, had the safe the segregation thing is not sequestering is not safety written on a wall thing as well. It's all bloody connected, mate. Take this lift up to floor 18. Let's make it to the radio station. I've conquered the Centennial Building. Let's go. 18th floor. WLMNFM. Nice. Oh, yeah, okay. It's one way to go, but there's also a hand drawn hallway in there, apparently. Ah, yes. Guys, it's that Metallica album. Hello? Coffee, please. For my part, I know nothing with any certainty, but 
Just the sight of the stars makes me dream. What even is that quote, police dad? What even is that? With great power comes great responsibility, is what I'm waiting for him to say next. Okay, so the mirrors are a good moment for that. Oh shit, this is where we're supposed that to go. My brothers and sisters was another rock and roll classic coming to you courtesy of DJ Ricks on this fine afternoon. Weatherman says there's a storm coming our way to spoil the fun. So batten down the hatches and snuggle up under the blanket with the one you love. Because it's going to be a rough ride. And speaking of rough rides, we got another dedication going out to my man with the plan. Murphy Pendleton. Somebody out there has got an eye on you, MP. So watch your back and keep it on track. Oh, it's playing a classic Silent Hill song. Hey, man, come on in. Got a disc spinning right now, so you ain't interrupting nothing. <laughs> man, you look like you just saw a ghost or something. You all right? Not really, no. Good to hear. So what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you? Uh, Murphy Pendleton? Like I was saying, what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you, Murphy? Got a track you want to play, or...? I'm the guy you've been putting out the dedications for. I got the message. I came to find you. Afraid you got the wrong man, Murphy. I don't know what you're talking about. But if there's a song you want to hear or a dedication you want to make, I could... You're listening to the DJ Rick Show on WLMN-FM, where the tracks are tight and the sweet melodies flow on and on. It's always a perfect day with DJ Rick's your on-air friend to the end. Look, He's playing man. the classic Silent Hill bangers now. High water to get here because you called me. Now cut the bullshit because I don't have time for this. Chill out, man. If you don't keep your voice down, you're going to get us both in trouble. And you do not want that. You don't know who might be listening. You understand? Thank God someone finally heard me. I, I can't even tell you how long it's been just spinning record after record after record, hoping someone. What the hell's going on here, Ricks? What is this place? No time to explain. If we're gonna get out of here, we gotta move fast. You getting this far tells me we might. Might even have a chance of getting out alive. What's the plan? Right. Listen, I got this boat. She's more down at the marina. She's fast, real fast. Problem is some motherfucker ransacked the studio and checked the keys. I'll hotwire it, no problem. Uh, that's not gonna work. This place, it, it, it does strange shit to reality, man. It's like, there's rules you gotta, gotta follow, you, you know what I mean? Bobby Ricks? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Who's it going out to? Murphy uh, Pendleton. Uh, that's, that's nice of you to think of me. Oh. Yeah. Real nice. Thank you. It's going out to me. They're coming. Oh shit. Who? Doesn't matter. We gotta find those keys. Mm. On the silver chain says freedom. You can't miss um. What? Pendleton. Put the gun down, damn it. <laughs> we might have a way out of here. You. I need to use your phone. Sorry, lady. Calls come in, but don't go out. Just cause folks wanna be heard, don't mean they're willing to listen. See for yourself. What the hell's going on around here? No! <laughs> Fucking Cunningham. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Oh, this is getting weird as hell. Dude, Cunningham rocks up with the gun in our face again. Oh shit, dude. They're coming. What the hell, dog? Okay. Keys on it say freedom, can't miss it. I got di uh, diluent. Okay. Oh, we're in a different. Okay, the vibes have the vibes have shifted. The beers are no longer in the fridge, guys. 
We actually met the guy. And we're in trouble because now we got ambushed by screamers. Uh, holy shit. I, I gotta tell you, I, I'm really interested in what the hell's about to happen. I, you know, I think that's pretty clear, but I was, I was gonna say before we got ambushed, I was like, I wonder if, um, it might be tied to like the order. Cause I know that Silent Hill Homecoming started bringing in that aspect in their own way in Shepherd's Glen it was a little bit different, but I wonder if it's similar or not. Um, if it was gonna, if they're saying that they're being watched or, uh, you know, you never know who's watching. Could be the order. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like figure out if there's a human element to it as well. With the whole crazed religious cult stuff, or if this one's pulling away from the cult stuff and doing more of the psychological stuff like Silent Hill 2. I think that's maybe why I like Silent Hill 2 and, and like 4 and stuff the most. I'm not really huge on the whole order cult part of this of the Silent Hill stories. I know different people like different things about the the games and the stories, but yeah, I'm not huge on the cult stuff. I never fucked with that as as much. Fire exit. You gotta make a fire happen. But I am wondering if there's gonna be a human component to this or whether it's um focusing on, you know, just the fucked up stuff. The psychological drama. Someone's blocked the elevator. Uh, that was an that was a really interesting scene of events. Cunningham just can't give me a goddamn break though. Thought I thought she was done. All right, well look, we've got a for some reason a oh highly flammable liquid. I've got the lighter. Okay. Do I just need do I need to start this anywhere in particular? I just start a fire anywhere. Um. Where shall I start a fire? Radio equipment? Burn down the whole radio station, baby. It's time. Um, there must be something that I can like... It'll pop up and be like an interactive thing and I can dump the liquid on it, right? I would assume that would be... What we're doing. Oh, this stuff? It's all glowing. There you go. There you go. Start the fire right next to the fire exit. Chug it on on there. Burn this shit, baby. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, that happened quickly. All right, guys, there's a fire. Open up. Oh, it's doing this again. Uh. <laughs> oh no, the black hole void of doom. I forgot that this happened last time. <laughs> oh. The, who's behind me? It's the black hole void of doom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking spin this shit real quick. Oh my god. Who's behind me? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, did I go the right way? Fuck. Oh, there's multiple pathways. You better not be a dead end. Slow down the void with a box. Slow down the void with another box. There you go. Feast on that, baby. I forgot that there was gun there was chase sequences. Oh, hang on. I should look for the fucking exit signs. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I should look for the exit sign. Exit arrow is the other way. Ah, no. I'm going in slow motion. I'm close to being absorbed by the void. Ah! <laughs> oh, you shit me. The exits. All right. There's another exit this way. It's okay. There's two exits. It's all right, Murphy. I'll get you out of this mess. Ah! <laughs> the void. Oh, wait. I've already been this way. Yeah. Oh, my God. I got on the right way. Oh, I can't see shit. Uh, which exit should we take? Let's go left. I'm running into myself. <gasps> I just got road runnered. What is going on? Oh, hang on. There's a... Oh, oh, invisible fucking... Oh, that is so trippy. I was just running into a painted wall. 
Ah, uh, the void returns. Okay. Um, shit. This is so well done, dude. I gotta tell you. Like, Close the void thing. All right, we're going back the other way. All right, well, I'm not. I'm going the opposite way to the exit now. But I think that's right. Oh, no, hang on. There's another exit. It's just upside down. Everything's upside down now. Oh, my God. Don't fall. Ah, oh, fuck. Can I climb over you? I'm going the wrong way. Fuck, not the void. No, the void. Oh, wait, hang on. I can fit around the side. Dude, this is like the Silent Hill Shattered Memories like chase sequences, but so much better. The Shattered Memories ones were just, they, leave the luck. they left a lot to be desired. It was just too crazy. This. I, I like how this, they're handling this one. All right, yep. 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 Like this feels like a proper uh, bad trip. Like this This feels in this, oh shit. See, this feels insane. Shut it up. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> Get me out of here, boss. I don't want to be here anymore. Get me out of the upside down hellscape. Uh, okay. Great. Oh my god. Uh, you have to give them props for their for their ability to just throw you in like a situation that's so psychologically damaging. I'm going to need therapy. Ah! Yes. Don't you love your ghost trains? Where's the guy in the latex mask? I'm waiting for... Okay, no, we got the wheelchair monster instead. The Silent Hill ghost train. <laughs> oh, he's on the ride too. Who was that? Oh shit! <laughs> ah yes, they put me in the gas chamber. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Give me that shower. Give me that sweet, sweet shower. Oh! Jesus. Looks like my stop. <laughs> Keep running from the void, Murphy! <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, shit. Am I dropping that? No. Wait, oh my god. Exit! Big exit! What is that? Oh! That's the- this is the fucking guy that we saw in the silhouette. It's the new pyramid head. Big man with a hammer. What am I being chased by right now? Who's behind me? Oh! 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 I got vomiting things on the walls! Hang on a minute. This is why they gave me a first aid kit, because I'm gonna get spat on. What the fuck? you mind? Fucking spit somewhere else in your own time. Oh no! Oh. Why have we got fucking corpses on their period stuck to the wall? I don't want to see this shit. Oh! Oh! oh. Disgusting. Ah, oh. oh. it's a breath of relief. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? This is where I fell down, so I've just done a I've just done a circle. Hello. All right, there's a routine inspection on your on your cells here. Occupational health and safety. Uh, 
I don't know if I can let the the whole nailed corpses to the walls thing fly. Gotta be gotta be honest with you there. Oh, oh! Right, I'm, now I'm just doing this to myself. Oh! Oh no! I actually died by just fucking getting soaked in period blood. For God's sake! Oh, I you know. I don't always die, but when I do, it's drowning in period blood. There's, there's, you know, certain ways that are just acceptable to go out. That's one of them. Mmm. Yum. Right, anyone got a way out of here? Oh, I thought I... Oh, I, I've just fallen into the same trap that I did last time. Alright, hurry up. Spit out your juices. What are you, are you motion sensored or what? Open up! Oh, there's a switch that's on the wall that's really hard to fucking see. Get me out of here. Get me out of the period room. Oh, we got spinning goddamn death blades on the floor. Oh, oh. Uh, is that a dog? Oh no, that's a woman. Wail on me, go on, do it again, you stupid bastard. Get beat on! Ugh. Ah. Ugh. That's right, scream no more. Get the fuck out of here. Oh! Okay, they just be dropping them. You fuck off, will you? I'm running away from you. What is this? Ah, yes, make sure. Ah, oh, yes, perfect timing. Make sure we rotate the painting real quick. Yep. Run from the spinning death bleed room. What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, what is this? What the fuck? What is that? It's like a spinning... What? Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Damn it. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. I would like to ride the clock. Time's running out, Pendleton Murphy. Oh, shit. Oh, not the... Sh mm. Not the balancing act on the fucking clock hand. With the fucking death fan. Oh, my God. Guys, this is a metaphor for time. This is how it feels to feel the passage of time. As you grow older, it just goes faster and faster. And you feel like you wake up one day and you're gonna die. That's how fast time moves when you grow up. Jesus Christ. Ah. Back to whatever the hell this is. Yeah, this makes perfect sense. At least we're not being harassed by a void. Chest in the fucking... <laughs> fucking Silent Hill had a shot at Crash Bandicoot. Ah! <laughs> Silent Hill went, hey guys, I really liked that. Oh! Silent Hill game it needs a bit more Crash Bandicoot in it. Oh, crap. No, who would who would die? Who would die there? No, certainly not me. Oh, it's gonna put me back at the clock. Okay, gonna put me back at the clock. Okay. Fuck. Come on, let me just inch on there. Yes. Somehow there's less tension on the uh, on the second time on the clock ride. Um, somehow it's less thrilling. Now it's a chore. I don't have the time for this. That's right. You stop fucking spinning. Ugh! Get me off of this thing. All right, let's not get cut apart by magical saw blades, shall we? 
I just did this section in Hollow Knight. I don't need this anymore. I got blade saw PTSD. You don't need to do this to me. All right, Crash Bandicoot. You got nothing on Murphy Pendleton. Oh God. Whoa! Oh jeez. Okay. Oh my God. What, what in the hell kind of Silent Hill obstacle course is this? We got the Halo of the Sun! Ooh! We got the Halo of the Sun. Interesting. We are getting into some order symbolism here. You see this person in the wheelchair? It's Heather Mason all grown up. Child. Oh, Cunningham. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I mean, look, guys, would you be keeping your composure, or would you be screaming and shitting yourself and throwing up? If this, if this was you, if this was you, you'd be doing this too. So yes, his screams may sound silly, but we would all be doing this, and that is why he's a relatable character. <laughs> I'd be losing my fucking shit. I would have passed out. He's, str he's a stronger man than me. Where'd you go? Oh, God. Help me. Help! Murphy, run! <laughs> Guys, this is a metaphor for time kills everyone. Time waits for no man. Oh, there's my uh, brother slash son relative who went missing. There it is. And there's the kite that I made him. There it is. I'm really keen to see how this actually pieces itself together a little bit more, because this is just an insane little uh, trip, isn't it? God damn. <laughs> Funny place to take a nap, Sam. Is this the mailman? You could get your death out here. Oh my god, this man will not leave me alone. That mail better be for me, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you better have something for me. <laughs> what? From St. Maria's. The old orphanage up there on the hill. No. This can't be right. Got your name on it, doesn't it? Seems plenty right to me. Of course, you won't know till you open it, will you? No. Enough of this shit. No. I'm done. Oh. I'm finished with the riddles, the mind games. Whatever I did to get here, I've had enough. I want out. Do you understand me? Do you? Do you? Son, you still don't get it. It doesn't matter what you want. As for me, I got mail to deliver. <laughs> Goodbye, Murphy. That's good. He like ripped it up and he's like, here's another one. <laughs> and then he explodes into a cloud of ravens. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yep, all right. Find a way out of here again. We got a map of this area. Where are we? All right, we're Lonsdale Street outside of the Centennial Building. God damn it. All right. And with that one, we bring this episode of Silent Hill Downpour to a close. Uh, no, four episodes in, like my first impressions are still there. Like, I think this game is like, it's, it's pretty good. Like it's this it's it's scary it does keep you on edge it's got some great set pieces the atmosphere is really good i like how they've actually handled quite a few elements of this experience uh i don't know it feels quite silent hill-ish to me uh you know even the characters are, are, are based and cringe just like silent hill characters always are you know um <laughs> 
<laughs> it is it is one hell of an experience that's for sure i quite like it I, I i do i think i'm having a fun time i hope you guys are having a fun time uh watching this one as well because yeah like i said going into this game i knew that this was the one that i think people were uh like most sort of like annoyed about or this was a this is a particularly controversial one where the fuck did you even come from i'm trying to do my outro I'm trying to do my outro. I'm trying to finish the episode. And you just have to appear out of nowhere. God fucking damn it. Yep, keep wailing. Keep wailing. See where that gets you. This is what you get. Um, so yeah, I'm having a good time. Hope you guys are having a good time watching this one as well. It's, uh, it's a hoot at the very least. Not sure how much longer we've got to go on this ride, but it is one hell of a ride nonetheless. Thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of Silent Hill Downpour, and I will see you next time.